This is Drom Shekasuto. Shalom Aleichem. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Babylon Tower. The, the land was full with people that spoke only one language. In the earliest days, the days of, of creation, the Creator was speaking the ancient um, Hebrew and the people, Adam and Eve and their children and Noah and everyone were talking that language. Until that time, that the, the change took place. <clears throat> so people, when they went away from that place that called Kedem, in front of the Garden of Eden, they found a valley in the land of Shinar. Shinar is, um, is a certain uh, a precious um, stone, it might be even gold, I'm not sure, um, but I think it might be even gold, but it's a, a wonderful place, it's a great place that they, um, that they found, I'm trying to see. So they looked for a place to hold them all and they couldn't find, I don't remember the, the, complete, the meaning of the word Shinar, but maybe um, it means gold, but it's a precious um, place. It was a, a great place. And they sat over there. And they said to each other, Let's make um, bricks. Let's and put them into the oven. Um, and then we're going to use those bricks like stones. And from the same cement, the same material that they created, they made cement to put the stones. And for which reason, for which cause? And they said, Let's build for ourselves a city, umigdal, and a tower, but that it will be so high that its peak, its head, will be in the sky. And we will make a God for ourselves. We'll make a name for ourselves. Like we know that we're calling Hashem the name. Because He has the holiest name of them all. Um, names are, um, are, are words that are defining the being so if let's say this we will call it a chair kise in hebrew so it's defining its nature now my name is dror moshe it means something about me it's defining my being my purpose who that i am now hashem the name that is written in yud ke vav ke and being read, said, um, mentioned in Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud, the name with, we're calling like Adni, um, my master, my masters, when we're saying the name, um, is the holiest name of them all. This is a name that is teaching us about the Creator's essence in a way for us to understand his greatness and his grace and kindness so a name means an honorable name so when they wanted to make themselves a name it means that they wanted to 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 worship an idol to create an idol and to worship it because they were scared um, to be separated they wanted to have power so they wanted to create a center to their people. But God, the Creator, went down to see that city, and that tower that people started to build. And God said, 
הן עם אחד ושפה אחת לכולם, if they're all speaking one language and are dedicating their negative will in one purpose, in one cause, וזה החילם לעשות, and they wanted to, and they are willing to do foreign things, they don't want to do good with their power, ואתה לא ייבצר מהם כל אשר יזמו לעשות, now they can corrupt and ruin the world in such horrible way, whatever they will want to do, they will be able to do, like to kill, to murder, to slaughter, to, we know exactly what um, power might cause to people. people that are not worth it for that power, it's corrupting them. Hava nerda v'navla sham sefatam. So the Creator is calling the angels and telling them, let's go and mix their languages. Let's teach them more languages and gonna separate them by that. Asher lo yishme'u ish sfat re'ehu. That one person won't hear, won't understand the language of, uh, of his friend. And that's how Chinese came down to the world, and ancient Latin, and Arabic, and all the ancient languages started in that day. Angels came down from heaven and taught certain groups, certain families. Every family they've been, um, been taught They received the knowledge of a language. Seventy languages been taught in, in that uh, day to all different families on, on earth. And then they've been spread because they could not communicate. Try to put a Chinese person that speaks only Chinese with an American person that speaks only uh, a broken American language. Uh, not even the English one of the Englands, what you're going to do now? They're not able to communicate, they cannot talk, they had, have to separate. They must find like different places for themselves to live with the ones that are um, connected to them in the language. So, Vayafetz Adonai Otam Misham, and then the Creator sent them away to different locations, Al Pnei Kol Haaretz, on the world, on the globe, Vayachdelu Livnot Ha'ir, and they stopped building that tower and that city. Al Ken Karash Ma Bavel, and therefore he called that name Bavel. Why Bavel? Here is a clear evidence for the truth of Bavel. of what I explained to you right now. You are calling in English to Bavel, Babylon. What does it mean Babylon in English? It's just a name, right? You don't know the meaning of the word Babylon. What does it mean Babylon in English? But in Hebrew, in ancient Hebrew, Bavel is the, ex is the exact term to explain what did the Creator made. כי שם בלל אדוני שפת כל הארץ, because over there Hashem mixed, Hashem made differences in the languages of, of humans, of, of human race. So the word בלל, and from that word, it's, it's like, בלל, it's like to mix ingredients in a bowl. You are mixing them together. And therefore he called the city Bavel. The, the tower is Babylon Tower because the, the Creator mixed the languages. And from that place and from that day and on the Creator spread them on the wide world to go and find new locations and places for them to hang out. Thank you. Be well. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.